Hi, and welcome to Rosebud Homestead. And we're so grateful that you joined us today. We're going to be doing things with tomatoes. We're going to be uh, staking them two or three different ways. And then I'm gonna show you how I prune them. Um, and that's, this is something new for me, so I'm quite excited to see how this is going to work. Um, as you know, our community focuses a lot on um, uh, food safety and self-reliance and emergency preparedness. And so today's video is a lot about food safety, growing our own food, growing tomatoes. And with the price of tomatoes in the grocery stores these days, it really is helpful if we can grow tomatoes even in containers on our patio and, uh, to help defray grocery costs. We use a lot of tomatoes, and of course I'm assuming that most everybody does. So we'll get started on our project for today when we come right back. planted a lot of tomatoes this year and if you have been watching our uh, gardening and drought video we, uh, we made two of them um, you know that we had kind of a disaster with a sneak freeze and a whole lot of wind and so our tomatoes now are all different sizes because some made it through those disastrous events others we started over again and others were given to us and we've replanted them and some of them look pretty ragtag. So we're going to do our best and we're going to treat them all like they're going to give us lots of tomatoes. So the first thing that we're going to do is show how I string up tomatoes. And I've done a couple of them right here. Jim has put some hooks up on the top of the, uh, uh, the little rafter so that I can run these strings down to the tomatoes. And um, you can see that the tomatoes are wrapped around the main stalk and I've left a little slack in the string so that I can continue winding the string around as they grow. And because most of these are indeterminate tomatoes, they will grow and grow and grow the way I'm gonna do them up to six, even eight feet tall. So here is how I do this. Look how this one is just limping over and it's a little worse for wear. Now I have prepared here a garden staple and you can either buy these or you can make your own. They're very easy to make with a heavy enough gauge wire. And so I've attached the string to this little staple and I'm now going to insert it right at the base of the tomato stem deep into the soil. So I'm gonna do that right now. <clears throat> There's quite a bit of straw here. And then with the string, I'm going to just gently wrap it around the stem and I want to be sure that it is the main stem and there are probably easier ways to do this. Some of you who have done this before I'm sure will put some hints on the comments so that it will help us be better at this. Now, um, I am pruning off the bottom leaves because what I want to have is a lot of circulation down at the bottom. And I don't want the um, plant putting energy into leaves that are now useless. And so we need to leave enough leaves on to produce photosynthesis. And sometimes it's a little bit difficult to determine which the growing stem is, and so I'm going to leave it right there. The growing stem is this one right here because this is what puts out the new growth. Um, this one is not. So we're going to leave it here and I'll wrap it around again um, when that, grow, that main stem gets a little taller. So now I'm going to climb this ladder, this little step stool, and it's very safe. It makes our children nervous when we get up on ladders. Okay, now notice what happened to the base of the, um, the, to the tomato. When I put that string around and I'm now straightening it up, see how nice and straight that went? And so up here when I knot it, because I may want some slack later, I am going to not tie a super tight knot and I'm gonna loop this right here 
so that I can just pull this if I need to untie it and um, get the string loose so that I can do some more wrapping. So these are fairly loose. I don't want them super tight. All right, I'm gonna do one more. And as I do that one more, I'm gonna show you something else that we are doing with our tomatoes this year. We are pruning our tomatoes this year. I have actually watched quite a few YouTube videos and I've learned an awful lot. And so I bought indeterminates this year. Indeterminate means that it keeps growing and growing, growing up one main stem. Um, determinate means it just grows in a bush and stays low. So the advantage of having indeterminates is if you prune off all of the suckers, it will produce tomatoes and then you trim off all the leaves below the cluster of tomatoes, pick those, and then once those are harvested, then you trim everything off until the next cluster of tomatoes. And so it focuses all of the plant's energy on the fruit that is being produced. So what is a sucker? Well, I've got one to show you right here. So, These, this, is, um, this is one that made it through the freeze, for which I'm very grateful. And it is a black tomato, so I'm very excited about that. So it's easy to see the main stem right here. Now, if you look at my fingers, the main stem goes this way and then the leaves come out this way. Anything that starts to grow out this crotch is a sucker because at the tip end of this, it is a growing end and then it will produce more leaves and it will produce food out, fruit out this way and they, that takes energy away from the main stem. So we want all of the energy focused on the main stem. So right here, growing in this crotch, I don't know if you can see it from that angle, but um, there is a little sucker right there. So here's the main stem, here's the leaf coming off the main stem, this is a sucker. This is a growing end. And so get rid of that. I'm gonna just snip that. Same right here. Here's the main stem, here's the leaf, and this is a sucker. So we're gonna get rid of that sucker. Now, the cool thing about those suckers is if they're big enough, and sometimes they get really big, um, you can sprout and grow those and start another plant. So this one has a sucker at every leaf joint, which is not uncommon. Now I'm going to clip this bottom leaf all the way off, and I'm going to clip this bottom leaf all the way off, because there's no fruit being produced there. Now look at this sucker right here. See how big that is? If this continues to grow, it's gonna push this one downward and compete with this main stalk. So this is, would be a good one to sprout and grow because this is a growing tip. See the new leaves that it is producing? But I have enough tomatoes right now. So now this is nicely pruned and is ready to be strung up. So let's string it up. Inserting the staple right at the base of the main stem to the soil level. And then we are going to wrap that string around the base, around the main stem. Now we're going to get some more diameter on this stem, so I'm not doing it super tight. And I use the leaves to help stop the string. Okay, so this is going to be enough. And so that is now strung and ready for me to tie. We have four done, and I'll finish these other ones off camera. This one really took a hit um, for the freeze, and I was really concerned about its growing tip, but it appears to be just fine. So I'll be cleaning out the lower levels on that one, 
and I'm not seeing any suckers on that one. Um, I'm not seeing any suckers on this one, so those will be easy strings. Okay, so let's go out into a different part where I have more tomatoes and I'll give you some more examples. I'm trying several tomatoes just out in the open. This is in our apple tree guild and it's out here in the sun. It probably gets about uh, 12 to 15 hours of sun every day. So bless its little heart, it seems to be doing really well. This one made it through all the disasters. And so um, right here, I'm gonna first look for suckers and um, Here's one coming right here, so I'm just going to trim it off. And another one right here. I'm checking every joint. All right, there are too many bottom leaves on this one, so I'm going to get this branch and its accompanying sucker. You can see there. And then, um, oh my goodness, there's some coming out the bottom, which I don't want at all, so I'm going to trim those. I want lots of ventilation through here. I'm gonna take this one off, and I'm gonna take this one off. Okay, so we have a nice stem going right here. And then, what do you know? Look right here. Do you see the sucker? Here's the main stem with the growing tip. Here's the leaf, and here is a sucker with a growing tip. Again, this one would be a good one to root if you were needing to root. And notice how it has started to push the main stem off to the side, which is one reason why uh, we want to stake these. And I'm just, um, this is just a bamboo uh, post that I have. And so we have plenty of those. I bought a bundle of like a hundred. Seems like a thousand. Oh, there's a little sucker trying to come here, so I'm gonna get it. And I'm just going to help this one realize what straight up is, leaving it quite loose. And it's right by a joint in the bamboo, which will help hold it in place. So that's what we're going to do to this one, and we can move on to the next one. We're here at my main tomato bed, and, and these are the cattle panels that we have mounted on the, the green uh, stakes and we've lifted them, I don't know, about 14 inches up off the ground to give them more height. I wanted about at least six feet of climbing space for these tomatoes. Again, these are, um, I think almost all of them are indiscriminate and will be climbing up here. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Um, but I'm just gonna walk along and check. Here is a pea plant with a few little peas on it. Looks like rabbits or my kids are getting those. Our son and his fiance are staying with us due to a fire at her house. And so that one's not tall enough. This one's not tall enough. I will come back through and get all the suckers off of these because I do not want suckers to get a toehold here. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this one so that you can see. This one is, I think this is a beef steak. This tag is lost. But there are a lot of suckers on this one that I want to get off. I'm going to take this bottom leaf off and um, this one, the other half, the main uh, stem froze in our freeze and this was a sucker which is why it is bent in this direction and so I'm checking every crotch going along here and getting rid of suckers. Here's a little sucker right here but I want you to see this big sucker up here. Um, look right here. This is a sucker because the main stem is here, the leaf is here, huge big leaf, but it doesn't have a growing tip on it. But this is a sucker and it does have a growing tip. Here's the growing tip, it's gonna be putting out more leaves. And we may think, wow, then it would be more tomatoes. Well, um, that is not the case because they have done tests on these and have figured out that by removing the suckers, you actually get more tomatoes um, if with the suckers removed. So I, and also notice how the growth of this um, sucker is pushing the main stem off center. So we want this guy out of here. And there's even a second one coming right there. And, and 
so now I'm going to take a piece of string and we are going to tie this main stem, get it going back up to where it's going straight up. Right now we are heading into the hottest part of our summer and um, we're going to be um, up in the hundred, low hundreds next week and pretty much that's going to shut down tomato production without any harvest so far this spring. But if we can keep our tomatoes alive during the heat of the summer, they should, fingers crossed, give us a, a good harvest in um, early fall once the days cool down just a little bit. So we're just going to walk along here and double check. And this is a Kellogg breakfast tomato and it's the same situation. This just kills me. I have a growing tip here and I have a growing tip here. I somehow miss this. I usually am better at coming out and snipping off suckers, which I see one right here I'm going to get while I've got it in my eyesight. So right here, which one is the main stem? Oh my gosh, we have to make a decision. So it is obvious that this one over here is. If you can see right here, this was the leaf and this sucker started right in the crotch but notice how it has pushed this leaf down and it is now competing with the main stem so wow i have to cut this off look how much of the plant i just lost it was going gangbusters but it's a temptation that i'm not going to take and so now i can tie this main stem up on the wire and we can get it started and more of the energy will be directed right toward this main stem. All right, much better. Oh, so sad. See, if I would have caught that sooner, I wouldn't have this terrible decision to have to make, but it is what it is. So this pretty much summarizes how I'm going to be doing the tomatoes with stringing them up, cutting off the suckers, and making sure that the um, plants energy is focused up that main stem and toward the fruit. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. We'll come back uh, later in the summer so that we can uh, so show you how tall these get and hopefully we will have a really good tomato harvest. So thanks for sticking with us and we will see you next time.